As you guys know, I'm a creator. I also trade. I also have mentorships where I'm connecting with my community every day. So this allows me to just be as efficient as I've ever been in my entire life. What's up, everybody? I hope you're having a great day. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what you're used to. Normally, I go over videos on how to pick stocks and which stocks to pick right now and all that good stuff. But if you don't have the proper tool to trade with, then it could pose a problem for you. Now, about a year ago, I put out a video on the best laptop that you could trade with that costs under $1,000. And I thought that was a great video. Some of you really enjoyed that and even bought the laptop that I suggested. This time around, though, it is the top of the line. It's not cheap, but it is damn awesome. And I'm talking today about the Asus ZenBook Pro Duo. That's right. This thing has two different screens, and it's absolutely incredible. Now, full disclosure here, I am not a tech guru by any means, but I do know how to do my homework and I do know how to do due diligence. So I thought that it would be good to share some of my findings with this computer because it's an absolute monster of a machine. Now, most of you probably know me as somebody who's sitting at this desk all the time, but believe it or not, I hate sitting at this desk. I love being out wherever I can without the confines of these four walls. I like to be able to just be out and about wherever I want to be because freedom is everything when it comes to, you know, finding goals in, in financial freedom. And so that's what that's what does it for me. I like to be wherever I want and trade wherever I want. That's why getting a good quality laptop was super important for me. I had looked for desktops b before and I thought, you know, desktops are just not me. That's just not my thing. So the ZenBook Pro was really kind of where I wanted to look at uh, at a glance. Now, what's really awesome about this is that it is essentially a desktop in laptop form. Of course, we've already talked about the, the two screens, but let's get into that a little bit. The, the a main screen, the main monitor where you would normally see a laptop screen is a 15.6 inch OLED UHD 4K screen. It is really awesome. It's all touch screen as well as the bottom screen. Now, I, I this was something that just blew my mind. This is also 4K. It's a 14 inch screen as well. It's touch screen, but it's LCD. It's got a matte finish. So it's genius in my opinion, because, you know, when you're looking down at something like that, you're expecting there to be a lot of glare, but with that matte finish, it's not at all. It's actually really, really useful. And, and uh, it just makes things so much easier when I'm trying to multitask because I could be looking at my uh, charts on the big main main screen and then I can have my Discord or I could have uh, YouTube playing or I could have anything, my news feeds all down on the bottom screen as well to kind of act as a second monitor in place of what you would have a desktop for where you're having multiple monitors, monitors in multiple spaces. In my opinion, this is one of the greatest features that this thing has as far as being able to multitask or look at multiple screens and see multiple things happening. I could have multiple charts all over this thing and be able to still trade eff effectively while being able to monitor everything that's going on. We all know that if we're trading every day like this, it's, it's, a, it's a task, right? Trying to make sure that we're keeping track of everything and this allows you to do this and also be mobile. How amazing is that? Now, as far as the rest of the computer, does the guts of this thing have the, the, the oomph to really back up these dual screens? And in my opinion, yes. It has 32 gigabytes of RAM. It has one terabyte byte of SSD, an Intel Core i9, which we all know is very desktop worthy, and it also has an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 graphics card, which is pretty damn awesome. Now, I have done some gaming on this as well, and it actually passes pretty well for a gaming computer. This probably wouldn't be something that I would actually encourage somebody to, to use as a gaming computer solely because I think that it does require at least a little bit more power for it, but it, it does handle gaming quite nicely. If you are bored one day or the stock market's doing nothing but moving sideways and you need something to do, this will end up doing a job for you as far as that's concerned as well. And from a creator standpoint, it renders videos like that. It is super fast, super quick, and just so efficient. And that's what I love about this thing. And one of the more curious things about this is where this their secondary screen sits and where the keyboard sits. A lot of people would have some questions about this as far as is this easy to type on? What's the quality of the keyboard? And in my opinion, it's absolutely amazing. The keyboard uh, doesn't have a whole lot of travel, which I would prefer a little bit more travel on it, but it's super high quality. It's easy to type on. No worries there. And the trackpad is very interesting as well as that we know that many of us traders love to have the number pad on the side, but with this 
this 15 inch screen, it kind of eliminates that. And Asus thought about this as well. There is actually an illuminated number pad in the trackpad itself, which is super cool. Now, if I'm bringing you this stuff, guys, that you already know, or if it's something that doesn't seem like a big deal to you, uh, you know, I do apologize for that. I did disclose that I am no tech guru, but this is just something that I thought was super cool. And people have been asking me about this. Getting to the outside of this thing, what kind of ports are there? We have two USB ports. We have one HDMI port and a Thunderbolt port as well. Now, there are some accessories that I probably would suggest getting with this as well. I do have a stand for this that I actually... Uh, I have for a better view of this because you know that that secondary screen does make it a little bit ominous when you're trying to especially sitting it on your lap sometimes it gives you a little bit uh, of a neck strain if you will so having that extra angle is kind of nice especially when I'm just sitting at my desk but also having a Thunderbolt dock as well is absolutely crucial in my opinion you can just plug in as much stuff as you want you can uh, you charge your phone on it while you're charging your computer it's all there for you to be able to use and utilize now some of you might be asking yourselves okay well this is top of the line so what is this top of the line computer going to cost me and and yes it is pretty expensive at 2900 bucks it's 28.99 over on amazon.com but in my opinion it is worth every single penny as it allows me to be as efficient as possible and work uh, really really well with all the stuff that I have going on every single day as you guys know i'm a creator i also trade i also have mentorships where i'm connecting with my community every day so this allows me to just be as efficient as i've ever been in my entire life uh, since starting on this journey so it has really been helpful and really uh, worth every penny in my opinion now again guys i like i said i am not the tech guru uh, at all so if there's things that i'm missing please leave some comments down below in case anybody else is watching this and has questions about it but i wanted to just bring this to your attention because i have had people ask me about uh, this particular computer uh, but i really kind of want to hear from you leave me some comments down below now if you're interested in actually purchasing this computer i did provide a link down below in the description be sure to click on that if you, this is something that you think that you really have to have too i'm you know i'm not the tech guru but i love techie type stuff and this was one that really just blew my mind so uh, i also have uh, links in there as well as far as all of the accessories that i use too so be sure to check those out because they are super helpful and that's it guys that's today's video Leave me some comments down below what you think about this, what more you want to see, if anything, as far as the things or tools that I use in my everyday trading, and I'd be happy to make videos on those. Also, if you wanted to see more trading-like videos, please make sure you're clicking onto one of these over here. As always, folks, please like and subscribe. I will see you all before the bell, and B. Smith is out.